The next thing I want to discuss is error analysis. And error analysis is one of the most critical parts of, of model evaluation. It's really the opportunity to improve your models and gain deep insights into where your model could be wrong or where it's struggling or where you can improve your model. And honestly, this is where I personally have the most fun in the entire machine learning process because this is where I get to build more intuition about the domain and how my model is interacting with that domain. So what is error analysis? And how does weights and biases fit into that? So the way error analysis works is we're going to log a table to two weights and biases. You may have already seen these tables in previous lessons, but essentially it's tables with predictions and ground truth and comparing those um, ground truths to predictions with all the various metrics. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at these images and we're gonna see where the model is most wrong. For example, low IOU. And the goal is to try to gain an intuition about where the model is struggling, about what issues might be happening in terms of the data, the labels, or so on and so forth. And it always surprises me how much I learn when I look at the data like this. And it, it is super important. No matter how much, how much EDA that you do, you this kind of guided approach to looking at data is extremely helpful. And, you know, if you go through this error analysis, you might notice a lot of things that, that might be relevant, such as poor lighting, obstruction of certain objects, so on and so forth. Especially with these perception tasks, where humans, humans are quite good at perception tasks and we're good at intuiting where issues may be occurring. And I'll, I'll show you some examples. And a key sort of output of error analysis is not only this sort of these categories. So when you're going through error analysis, you want to keep tabs of issues that you that you see and try to categorize them. You want to look at you know around a hundred or so examples at least and categorize any issues that you see. And what you'll often see is things like incorrect labels, even you know in your training set. And, you know, I always find uh, issues like these. And so I think error analysis is a, is a really key part of model evaluation. What you have here is a table of images and all of the IOU scores that I might care about. And this is, this is for the validation set. So when I'm going through this model, I want to, or evaluating this model, my goal is to look at the performance of the model on the validation set but specifically for, for specific images to get an idea of where the model might be struggling. And the way you do that is to go through each metric that you care about and sort of sort the different data points by poorly performing, uh, by, you know, their metrics are, are not great. And so let me, let me do an example of that. So I'm gonna take this road IOU and I'm going to sort it in ascending order so that the lowest IOUs are at the top. And then we can go and look at some of these images. So let's look at this image. Okay, so this image is interesting. I don't even see a road or anything like that. Um, so what you see here is the image followed by the ground truth mask and then the predictions mask. And if you lose track of which one is which, you can always hide it here like this. So, you know, this is the mass, this is the ground truth. If I hide it, you see that's the middle one. And you can arrange it in many ways. So this is the, you could stack them on top of each other. I don't tend to like that as much. Sometimes it's helpful. You can see this followed by both ground truths. These are the ground truth and the predictions stacked on top of each other. I, I like this view. I like to start with this view to see the predictions and the ground truth sort of segmented out. And it's interesting that, okay, so I can see in the in the predictions, so let me just look at the predictions. It does It is predicting road, road here. I'm not sure there's anything particularly that interesting about this uh, picture, to be honest. Um, so I'm not really that, yeah, this is not that interesting. But I just want to give you sort of an idea of how to look at it. I think the, these next ones might be quite interesting. 
So let's take a look at this, this one here. Okay. And let's unmask that. So this is really interesting. We have a row, is clearly a road in front of us. And I can see that there's no road being classified. So uh, there's no road in the ground truth. So let's let's look at that. So what I can do is if I click road here, well, you can see like this this orange area is vehicles. And you, you can expand this to see, okay, orange area is vehicles. Road is not even in the ground truth. There is clearly road. And this model is trying to predict road. And let's take a look. Let's take a let's stack it on top of each other. Let's even take this off. The model is doing a pretty reasonable job at the road part of it. See, these are the predictions. I can say I can say do none to un unselect everything and just say road. And that's pretty reasonable. There's this blip up here. So what what is the takeaway here? The takeaway from this specific example is the labels are wrong in our ground truth, clearly. Because we can, if I do this and select road, there isn't, they don't have road. So we need to go back to our labeling process and potentially figure out what's going on, why roads are not being labeled appropriately. Okay, let's look at another one. For example, let's see if there's anything interesting in this one. Oh, this is interesting. This is a parking lot. Okay, that's really interesting. So our model is predicting the entire parking lot as being a road, essentially. And, you know, the ground truth seems to be correct. The ground truth is just doing, is showing vehicles and showing the background. However, you will notice the ground, they, we missed something here. I mean, this camper van is not a vehicle, and that is wrong. Let's see what our model is predicting for, for vehicles just while we're here, just out of, just for fun. And we'll see your model, it does identify that camper van. So again, we have some labeling issues potentially where we're not labeling things correctly. And that, that is causing error in this issue. So we might want to look at parking lots. And if I find several examples of parking lots, then I might say, okay, I want to acquire, I want to acquire a data set that has more parking lots or make sure that I try to find more examples of uh, parking lots for my data set and differentiate those.